episode of what a horse and i've got with me my buddy jerry yes you made sir it. he come <laughs> striding in yep been working horses all morning yes sir trying mm -hmm. to get these young these young horses going well i tell you what there's a bunch of them i want to uh, yeah. well they, they we got a lot going on i got a video today of a two-year-old coming three for next if that will be on the show next week but we're going to be taking a bunch of those yeah well, mm -hmm. you know, I've been practicing on trying to take us to the commercial, Jerry. I want you to do it this time and see can I, I can I see, learn see, a little bit see, more. See if I've learned anything. See, yeah, see if you learned anything. Let me, let me see here. We'll be right back after this short pause for our sponsors. <laughs> competition, four times amateur world grand champion and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> How'd I do? You done. You done a good job. Okay. You done a you good do it job. Next you're getting better. You're you, getting better. You, you, you do okay. it next time. <laughs> I tell you, um, I put this out on Facebook that I want to people to start sending in videos of two-year-olds and three-year-olds for next year. But now everybody's got to be. We do not want to put any video out that's not appropriate. Plus the fact we want to make sure that the horses are of age. Yes. Now I know we've got some. Uh, we've got a two-year-old that's already two, but because of the way that we do things, she'll be able to show us a two-year-old next year. But everybody needs to watch what they're putting out. I want to make sure they're at least two years old, and after January the first, then we can go with any that y'all give us to to put up. But I want you to turn your camera sideways. In other words, take your cell phone and turn it this way. That way the video will fill up the whole screen. And they need to be between 30 and 60 seconds long. And just everybody, if they'll tell us the mare, the dame, uh, or the stud in the, in the dame, the, the uh, name of the horse, uh, mare gilding or filly, whatever, yeah. just give us a, an outline to where we can tell people what it is. 
and where they can go see it. Yes. And maybe we can get some horses to move in real quick. Maybe you'll sell one. Yeah, maybe so. It's that time of year to do it. Everybody looking for them young ones. Well, here's the big thing. There's no charge. Yeah. We're not going to, we're just not going to pay Jerry. <laughs> we, no, I'm joking. Uh, I, I, want, I want people to see what we've got. And, and one of the main reasons, I got a, a message on Facebook which really meant a lot to me. It, it truly did. It was from a gentleman named Adam Wilmore. That's Wilmore. And he was talking about his grandfather, Charles Wilmore and how much he enjoyed watching what a horse and seeing the horses. There's a ton of people out there that just love to watch the Tennessee walking horse. And uh, that meant a lot to me that he, he took the time to send that message. Yes. Cause he, and he's not the only one that does that, but I did appreciate it because it, there's a lot of people that watch our horse that really love our horse, but they don't have one. Yes, that's right. So. Uh, that's something everybody just think about. If you got a horse, put him out there and let's let people see him. You're not going to have to pay for it, uh, but we can sure use the video and, and we'll put him out there and let everybody. We can give you a chance to brag on him a little bit. That's right. Then you can tell everybody, say, look at him, now, and then brag on him. That's true. Yes. Uh, on a sad note, uh, it, it seems like every time you turn around, we're losing somebody very dear to this industry. Yes. And uh, I, but when we found out that uh, Eric Lackey, a true gentleman and sportsman, that he, uh, he, he, he meant a lot to this industry, a whole lot to this industry. He, uh, he always rode real good horses. Oh yeah, Sam, you remember San nice. Juan? Yes. <laughs> he had San Juan. Uh, he'd won world championships. Uh, Shade of Jose. In his lifetime, he was in that winner's circle over 50 times. But one thing about him, Eric, he was always a gentleman and it just had a good word to say to everybody. Yes. He will be missed. He'll be missed a lot. One thing, the first thing I ever noticed about him was he, he wore gloves when he rode. Yes. That's the first thing I, I noticed about him. He was interior decorated. You know what? He, uh, matter of fact, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that he helped do Virginia Stewart Q House okay. out on the highway. And I believe I'm right when I say that. If I'm not, she will correct me. <laughs> <laughs> that tell you right there, tomorrow is not promised to you. That's fact. And so whatever you want to do, you might as well go ahead and do it now where you, where you can. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Eric did, man. Yeah, he's, he did. He really did. Eric Super good guy. Yes, he was. Super good guy. He will be missed. We're going to go to Tunica. I don't want to go back right now, though. But we're, <laughs> we're, we're going to go watch some videos from Tunica, though, because we've got some victory passes from Tunica, and they had a fantastic show. I oh, thought. yeah, they had a good show. I caught a sinus and respiratory infection down there. I still think it's something they're spraying. Yeah, you know, there's so many fields and farm land down there, and, I mean, they always have something going on. Well, it, all the time. It, it tore me a good one, I can tell you that. But if the video's ready, let's roll them. <laughs> Slamming hot. This is a fan favorite. 
Robert said, Jerry said, I'm so tickled with that horse, I gotta do a fan favorite for him. That's a nice horse. Yeah, he is. I believe that's the first time he's shown him, too. Yeah. So it's, you know. Robert's a good one, no doubt about it. Slim and hot. And who, Jose, it ain't so, and Jake Jacobs, your amateur counter winner. Oh, Jake had a good show. Yes, he did. There. Yes, he did. He's in the running for um, amateur show person of the year. Okay. Amateur of the year. But I'm gonna tell you, they, they, they're probably gonna get that. Sister Milligan called every time the gate opened, she was in there. El Hombre in black and Jake Jacobs, your amateur four-year-old stallion winner. You know, Jimmy's real high on that horse right yeah. there. Jimmy have done a good job with that horse. Yeah, he did. He said he was a little behind, but yeah. that he was, he was smart, catch on real yeah. quick. You know, that's true with a lot of horses. And here's uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald. Amateur Marion Gildon winner. Bruce, he's, ain't nothing you can say about him. I mean, I tell you, he's a good guy. Hey. A real good guy. I've heard some very, oh, let's put it like this. When we were complimenting people the other day, being a trainer, Bruce's name came up more than once when we was talking about industry supporters and who really worked hard for the industry. Yeah. Uh, Bruce McDonald and Frank Eichler. Yeah. Those were the two names that came up the most. Here's Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs, Lemon Underwinter. Now she's in the running for amateur of the year, youth. Yes. And uh, I don't know, we talk about horse of the year and fan of the year and all this. It, to me, that's who's out there the most. Oh yeah, she showed all different, you know, type She's shown over performance, 45 times. Performance, pleasure, you know, and all. So I'm If mean, it's she's... a horse, she'll ride it. Right there she is again. I'm Coach Cal. She was reserved in this class. Her dad told me that they they when she was still in the lead line class, that they'd have a horse show every night in the living room. Yeah. <laughs> Young ladies and young gentlemen like that is our future, buddy. Oh, yeah. And that's what this horse do for this industry, you know? Yeah. Honors image and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield now. Right there, put on the show. Yes. Shane Porterfield's another good guy. Oh, Shane is a real good guy. Right there, first night out. You know, I watched her the whole class, and she never bobbled. Never no. made a bobble, not one. And normally, on, on the flat shot down, and, and I'm not knocking nobody, but a lot of times, flat shot horses, they'll make a miss a lick here yeah. or there, especially with your youth. But now, that right there, right there. What happened, what, she took the reins right then was the only yeah. time that that he missed a lick. Well, by her being her age, and can adjust to a different type of horses that she rides, right. and that, that says a lot for her. Oh, yeah. That says a lot. Well, you have to adjust. You know, she goes from one to the other. And here's Honor and Remember and Dan Waddell for Cam Lewis. This horse is a real nice horse. I tell you what, he keeps getting better. Dan spends a lot of time with that horse right there. Well, Dan spends a lot of time with all his horses. I know. He, he does a good job. He I've does a real good job. Dan for a long time. That horse right there is going to wear the roses before it's over with. But he had a good teacher, you know, his father and Jimmy and all oh, of yeah. them worked horses. And 
He's in the horse business, so I mean, he had some. Right there, epic. Megan Hammond, Shamrock Farms. I'm not even going to try. What, what we need to do is, I need to do an interview with Mike Davis sometime to let him talk about that. Yeah. He said, I, I kept saying idea. the same thing over and over again. I said, there's only so much you can say. You can almost do a whole TV show episode with him just on his winnings. Yeah, And on the, video, on the videos he, he had out there. He's a good one, buddy. Yeah. Tell you what, that was, they had a fantastic show Oh, they show had a good show, there. real good show. It treated, it treated me terrible, because it, it, I'm still suffering <laughs> from it. But all in all, it was a great show. You know, all the food they had there in the mornings when you was there. Yep, they, they would feed you. And, feed you and stuff, you know. Well, we ate at that That's before. a fun time. When you can go to them, them out of town shows like that, uh, you have a lot of time. You get, to, you get to meet with everybody and talk and, you know. Camaraderie. That's right. Watch them get out there and ride and then talk and then discuss stuff. It's just a, a, a good way. I are, think are, you can are sell you going to take horses. us to a commercial this time? Yes, we'll be right back after these messages. That's a good job. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, wall offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up to host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. That's the way things work yeah. in this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I was asked a few minutes ago if I still had jewelry. Yes, I still got jewelry. But uh, I want to do a different video because I've sold several pieces. I got a lady from Florida that called that uh, I sent her some pictures. She's wanting several different items. But uh, the one that I'm really shocked at is those diamond studs. Yes. And I keep thinking about it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> but I bet them, them things is, uh, I don't go to a real nice places. My ears aren't pierced either. And mine ain't either. I did when I was a kid, but I let it grow out. And that was a phase that you go through. Well, my my wife, she 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 has studs, but uh, if I had a sweetheart, I might buy them. Well, you wouldn't be able to do a show with me. Yeah, not because I'd be dead. That's right. <laughs> be shot, pop, pop, <laughs> buddy. I tell you what, horse of the year. Now we're going to start talking about them, but I'm going to make just one statement. To me, horse of the year is about the horse. It's wh who did what and who showed the most and who represented it the most. Yes. Now, when you look at like this one right here, now this is your, your lead line. We got Duke Janae showed three times. Piper Antigues, six uh, shows, was reserve world champion, won two blues, Wild Away was six for six, world grand champion, Huck Bush showed several times, especially down in Alabama, 
So you got Hogbush, Juke Janae, Piper Ann T, and Wild Ray. The question is, which one of the horses was the one that represented the industry and promoted the horse the most? Now, I mean, yeah, and, yeah. and that's, a, that's a good question. I'm gonna be honest. Wild Ray, you can't beat what that young man did. He won six times, showed six times. But then I look, and I look at that horse right there, <laughs> that pony. That right there to me shows the Tennessee walking horse industry. Yeah, it yes. really does. And I'm not knocking any of the other ones in the running, not in the least, because each one of them kids deserve, all of them deserve to win well, in my You know, book. in this division right here, I'm pretty much a, I ain't gonna say expert in it, but I do, I do it a lot. You, you, you do it a lot. I do it a lot, and I love this thing. But now I'm gonna tell you, that's the that team right there. I love that team more than anybody. And I mean, I show in that thing then, the very competition with it. Yeah. But now, every time I see them, I mean, it, it makes me feel a lot. good. That's right. I mean, you, you are exactly right on that. Now, those two. I mean, they 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 just they having fun, and they are and they just doing what they love to do. That's it. And, and Wilder, I love, you know, I thought he had a, a real good pony, you know, and Piper, I thought that pony, that was real good. You know, I'm partial to that oh, pony. A bunch, because of, a bunch of good ponies, but I'm, I'm just talking about what people look and anybody could do that. Yes. And you know what I'm saying? And not anybody can do this right here yes. because they, they, the way the horse is and everything. But now when you're leading a little pony and some, just having a good time, that's it. Here's your two-year-old Marin Gildan. Now in this class right here, you got I'm Sweet Maggie May. Six times that she showed six blue or five blues, world champion. She won the Futurity. I'm a Dixie Dolly. Showed four times, two blues and a world grand championship. Polly Gray showed eleven times, six blues. The Char Queen, five times, two blues. But you know who's missing? Jimmer's Country Girl. That horse showed 10 times, won nine blue, chip, blue, blue ribbons, including a world championship. Yes. So, you look at, and I know not, horses have to be nominated and everything, but me, I'm looking at what is best, I guess, for the industry, what promotes us the most. Yeah. Participation. Yeah. That's the biggest right, thing. That horse right there, to me, that's one of the best. I, matter of fact, I talked to the owner. I told him, I said, I think you got a heck of a shot at oh, it. Yeah. And he did. He won it, which is something else now. Stephen and Nora Capper. Yeah. They were tickled with that. Right here is Polly Gray. It's another good horse. Showed a lot of times too. Showed 11 times, won six blue ribbons. Well, you know, that's the thing you gotta take into account too. You know, they put them out there in the ring. That's it. They put them out in the ring and they showing them. That's up, that is it in a nutshell. To me is getting horses out there for people to see. Some of the things that kind of get me and I mean, and I don't mean to say it, but a horse show one time or two times and then end up being the horse of the year. Yeah. You know, you, if you can show that horse multiple times, then that horse should be in the rankings of, you know, winning something. Well, to me, we're talking about promoting the horse. Yes. And the Char Queen, I love that oh, horse. Oh, yeah. That's a real nice, that's a real nice horse right there. But this, see this right here, this is voted on by the trainer. Yes. So what I'm wondering is if, if the people voted or if you had a point system, but who would the people vote for? They would vote for the one that they saw the most probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, I was having a talk a few minutes ago, we was talking about amateur of the year. Now, to me, the amateur of the year, as far as in the adult category, 
There ain't nobody, nobody been in that ring more times than Sister Milligan. No. Even the trainers. Because I'm surprised they didn't see her in the stick horse class. Right here is as I am. These are your ponies now. Eight times six blues. Dark rain, 13 times eight blues. Four reserves. <laughs> Pappy Van Winkle, six times one blue. Strike, six times two blues. But right there, that right there is my pick. I love Dark Rain. It's just a great horse. Real good horse. All them horses are real nice horses, you know. These. I think if you, if they do more of a, of a point system, it'd be a, a point system be good. But I, I like to see horses show. Yeah. And I think it, that, and I'm talking about me. A lot of people gonna say, "Well, Jerry, you're crazy," and I, I probably am for even thinking it, but. You show five or more times in a year, you know, that ain't bad. But when you got horses that show nine, 10, and I mean, some of these horses that I looked at, yes. looked up, it showed a ton of times. That's right there is a nice Oh, that's a nice horse, real nice oh, horse. Oh, Lord, yeah. Happy Van Winkle. There's Strike. That's a nice horse. I mean, you got a lot of nice horses. That's good horses that's, that's in the runnings for that class, you know, for them mm -hmm. classes in different divisions. And here's your youth pony. Now, this one right here was a good one. Because, look there, I am big enough. And I tell you, he showed yeah. much. 15 times. Yes. Eight blues. The second, four times. So, does that tell you anything? That's what I'm, saying. <laughs> I'm busting loose five times. Did not, no, no uh, blue ribbons. And Skywalk Threat showed six times with six blues. One world championship, one world grand championship. But now that horse right there. Uh, I'm big enough now, I'm gonna tell you. Now, he shows every time I almost the rain come in. Just, well, I'm gonna show tell you him. what that shows. That shows a lot for the owner, a lot for the trainer, yeah. a lot for the horse. horse. That's right. And that's, I mean, that means a lot because everybody's always talking about our horses, you do this, you do that. But you see a horse that's shown 15 times. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you went to a point system on that horse right there, Lord knows he, you know, with the he, blue ribbons he won and all yeah. that stuff, he'd be ahead. Way out there. And these others, I mean, I'm, I think that busting loose horse is outstanding. Yeah. This guy walks threat. I mean, Alex does a great job yeah. of showing this horse. And I noticed it's one of these horses that in the other pony class, the adult pony class, won one time and it was a world championship, which showed that that given night, that horse was the best. Yes. Here's your three-year-old. A shade of Jose, now here you go. A shade of Jose, nine times. One blue. Uh -huh. that, that was our good buddy, Eric. Yeah. Born a Maverick, six times, five blues world champion in reserve world grand champion. Honor of the Ritz, 11 times with four blues. I think we, 
well, we've got, no, we've got, we've got some in the wrong category. This was Augie nine times with one blue that I thought he was in the three-year-old stage. We jumped all the way to the three-year-old stage. Because right there is Cavender. Yeah. Now, to me, he is, he is a piece of work, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a nice horse. Hey, hey, great. Honor of the Ritz. 11 times, four blues. Well, like you say, if you send horses five or more times showing the year's <coughs> time, you know, the horses there deserve to be. Well, all of them, I mean, it, and we, we're looking at, when, you, when you're looking at who represents the industry, and the breed, then I'm looking at the horse, the trainer, everything. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you something else too, Jerry, in this, in this horse training world. If you have a real top horse, you don't wanna show them a whole bunch. No, you don't. You, if you got a good one, you, you try to save and you go to them bigger shows and stuff like that. But still, mm. Pink Floyd, seven times two blues. All about Jose, nine times Seven Blues, World Championship and World Grand Championship. Manny, nine times with four Blues, yep. and she is limitless. Seven times, six Blues, World Championship, World Grand Championship. <coughs> Which one do you pick Horse of the Year? So, yep. this right here is gonna come, boil down to the favorite from a given Trainer, yeah. Who, who this trainer votes for? Me. I like, I like she's limitless, but I love that mare. I can't help it. Always have. Well, she's limitless. Winning a world champion, world grand championship, that gon' that throws her up pretty good. Well, you know, and then plus the other shows, she's she, consistent. Yeah, and, and, and she, the other shows she's that there. She, she showed one with, you know. So I mean, that's. I don't think she really been beat too much, haven't she? No, and yeah. and even. Then, well, but she, she's lost every now and then, but in heads up competition with some other great mares, she's come out on top. Yeah. And uh, she she got, I think, got beaten one class, but it was a, a, a gilding. But Molly does a great job of oh, showing yeah, this does. horse. She does. And that, I've never seen that mare come in the ring that it wasn't flat getting down walking. Yeah. So that then, Again, who represents the industry the most, the best? Men's amateur. A home run by Ted showed 11 times, got three blues. Hole in my pocket, six times, four blues. Maroon five, six times, one blue. Uptied Jose six times, three blues. Well, needless to say, everybody knows I'm an Uptied Jose fan. Yeah. But who represents us the most? And you know, a lot of times, but people don't believe this, but a lot of times, it's the name that gets everybody. It's just like Uptied Jose. Yeah. Group I've worked back and forth with. STGN, <laughs> Extreme Sports. Uh -huh. The lady over it said, man, I love that uptight Jose. Yeah. She'd never even seen him walking over, but uh -huh. that uptight uh -huh. Jose, Jose got yeah. it. <laughs> and a lot of times it's the name that makes people watch. Out on parole. Yeah. Oops. Mm -hmm. I mean. Oh yeah. 
You know, Bruce. All in that division, we got some, some good horses yeah. in the whole division. Amateur canner. This is gonna be something. Honor my country is six times world champion, world grand champion, reserve world grand champion, four blues. I'm Jordan, four times, four blues, world champion, world grand champion. Jose, it ain't so, seven times, seven blues, reserve world champion. Starting lineman, eight times and two blues. I love that mare. Yeah. Yeah, I can't help it. But I also like uh, Jose, it ain't so. Oh, yeah. I like it. And uh, jo I like all these horses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, shoot far. You got mares in there. You got studs, gildings, you got them all thrown in there together. You know, horse for horse, it's hard to pick that way. But you have to do by points because they're all, like every one of them horses you see them right here in this division. They're all good. champions. All of them champions, all of them good horses. Now I figure I'll, I'll be getting a couple of emails or I'll get some posts on the Facebook about which one people like the best. And that's what this is all about. That right there, Jose, it ain't so, yeah. Jake Jacobs. Hey, getting better all the time. You know, the big thing though, Jerry, is people see a horse a lot. Yeah. Over and over and over again. It kind of starts sticking in their mind. It's kind of like advertising. People think you run one ad and you ought to make a million dollars. That's not yeah. what it's about. It's how many times you saw that, saw that ad. Yeah, people that's right. saw that ad. That's what makes the difference. Yeah. Heidi. Four-year-old amateur stallions. Scouts Ladies. honor four times. Zero blues. Black Gen Scout, seven times four blues, reserve world, well, was world champion and reserve world grand champion. Glory JC, seven times, seven blues, world grand champion. I will honor thy father six times three blues. Which one represents the best? Just like you get out there and, and, and to see who who is the crowd favorite most yes. horse of the year. Put them out there and see who which one of them gets the best cheers. The people screaming in the yes. seats. Who's got the best fan uh, base? It's all different. I wonder how many people I've made mad so far. <laughs> well, as long as you speak the truth, that's all. That's hey. all the person. Gets. What you feel it ain't the truth. Is what you feel. That's it. And that's that's what everybody got opinion. You know, good or bad. You know, everybody got their own opinion. As long as it's your your opinion. Well, I tell you, I, I, these horses, I love them all. Yeah, me too. Uh, Everyone of these horses got different ways of going, and it all depends on what you like. There's one thing, though. I think, if, 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 I, I, I was talking, texting back and forth with Carrie Benedict. That lady is is a, an encyclopedia oh, yes, on, horses, on horses, buddy. She, is. she knows what's good, she knows what's bad. I need to do an interview with her 
and go over what we should do or what the industry should look at because we've got some some classes we have horses in a class that shouldn't be in that class yes we've got rules for a class that some horses are not following that rule and these are things that we need to look at and, and this is my opinion we need to look at it real close and and make our industry one of them that people say well if you're in that industry you better follow the rules simple I mean it, it's it's like playing baseball you break a rule they're gonna bust you well all that comes back to like I say to the judging that's it you got to the judges got to make and follow the rules if you're gonna have rules if a horse got to go a certain way in that in that division the judge should tie it to that that's way. it yeah that's it all right I'm gonna do it one more time Go ahead, now, let's, see. let's see. One more time. Let's this see. last time I'm going to show you. Okay, you show it to well, me. Well, way I do it this time? Okay. We're going to take a short commercial break. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And J.D. Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback. Western and Trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Okay, you got it. I ain't gonna show you again. Okay, I, I think I have it. I think I have it. Y'all miss it. Yeah, everybody needs to come over here and sit over here sometime and listen to these conversations. <laughs> All right, well, we got more horse of the year, and we're going to go. I'm gonna wait until he pops it up there though before I do it because he said I'm either getting too fast or too slow. All day pleasure. Now th this is a this is a good one. Hmm. There it is. There she is, 401k and Pam Betts. This horse has shown 21 times this year. Uh huh. But. It's got eight blues in it, but it's only shown eight times in amateur competition. Right here is one that 44 times since 2019 has won 33 blues, 16 straight. What more can you ask for? Now, that's with yeah. Joa, that's with Tanner, that's with Tucker. I mean, this horse has been there and shown it all. I be smoking Joe. Then you got Bell, Miss Bell Star showed six times, four blues. Pedal pushing jazz, five times with one blue. So, who would be horse of the year for me? There's no doubt. I'd have to be I be smoking. <laughs> I guess on this next week we'll know who the horse of the year. Do what? The next episode, the next week episode, we'll know who the horse of the year is. Then next week, 
Yeah, because of this weekend. It, it, it sure is. is. Yeah. It sure is. We'll know. We'll know by the time the smoke clears. Yeah. Maybe we'll have some of these back on here. Everybody'd be pretty busy at the end of this week. Everybody be in town. Everybody be having a good time. Yeah. Well, we will be showing some of them, and we will be advertising some of them. I'm glad to come up with this class. Well, well, I wish that we could have had more on this week's show, but you can only do so many. Here's your 11 and under. Cole Hahn showed eight times six blues. Silver Dollars Collector, 10 times nine blues. It's the medalist, 12 times seven blues. Miss Ebony Rose, six times six blues. What are we gonna do? Yeah. I'd vote for all of them, just to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah. Tough class. It's tough oh, vision. Tell me about it. And every year he's getting better and better because he's buying better and better horses and putting them in the class. They're constantly looking for that horse. Yes. Everybody wants that horse that they can get a ribbon at the celebration. Yep. It's the medalist. That young man could ride a goat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could. Ebony Rose, and since we're doing this, I want to wish Sudi Reed a happy birthday. And many, many more, young lady. That have been a nice man for a long time. Oh, Lord. She has won blue ribbons with, I don't know, I need to look that up, because I know the two youth have rode it. Just a good mare right there, buddy. Yes. All right. Acclaim showed nine times one blue. Georgia Florida line, 12 times eight blues. The honor code, five times one blue, walking chick, eight times one blue. I'm for Georgia Florida Lime because it's shown the open and amateur competition and with two different owners. So it's pretty good.
assistant horse. Tell me about it, buddy. Looking good. The honor code. Tell you what, this, this year we have had a lot of horses that have won the world championship or world grand championship. Yeah. And not won anywhere else. Yeah. But you know, you got horses out there that not even nominated in this list as pretty good horses. Yeah, they didn't even get nothing. Yeah. Chimber, uh, Chimber Perrette, the mayor. Yeah. I mean, that country girl right here, Super Bowl MVP. And that's another good horse right there. 11 times eight blues. Extra special Jose, four times three blues in a world grand championship. Never more. Ten times, seven blues. Now, Julia, Julie showed that uh, seven times was by Julia, mm -hmm. and she won a world championship. Not, she she got five blues. The Dixie Label three times, two blues in a world championship. But again, I look Super Bowl MVP. Every time you looked up, here they come. Yeah, and again, you're talking. The horse, the rider, and the trainer. trainer. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of times to show a horse in a year. All right, right there was, I mean, <laughs> that horse right there is a piece of work. Extra special Jose. Nevermore quit on a good note this oh, year. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. I ain't so sure Julie didn't do a better job than John Allen. <laughs> I believe so. I'm going to tell him next time I see him. <laughs> Well, that's the ones that we've got for this week. Yes, sir. I wish we could have done more, but you only do so many within an hour. But like you say, this weekend, they've got the trainer's banquet, the awards banquet, they got the Tweeba banquet. There, there's so much going on in Shelbyville this week, and there's a complete lineup that you can go to the Walk North Report and see everything's going on. Mm hmm you is exactly right. right. And I'll remind everybody, send me videos of coming for two-year-olds next year and three-year-olds, but we're not going to air the two-year-olds until after January 1. We, the twos that are coming threes, I really want. Uh, flat shot, performance, I don't care. We're going to show them all. I'll be videoing some tomorrow at your barn yes. that for coming three-year-old. And, well, in, in a two-year, we got a maiden mare. Yeah. That real good mare. Uh, and there's, there's some other, I've seen some other coats over there. 
that, that looked real good. Anybody can, all you got to do is text it to me, Facebook it to me by, through Messenger, email it to me. Call me and I'll tell you how to get it. Because it, it, the video, we want to promote the horse. That's the main thing. Get the horses out there and the people get to looking at them and seeing them. Yep. Get excited about it. Yeah. Yep. And we got next month, we got a big sale December 31st. Yep. Yes, sir. Big man. <laughs> I can see him now reaching out and saying, bid on this horse. <laughs> <laughs> I get big Dave Roberts. He's oh, yeah. something else, buddy. He is but something the, else. I tell you what, they put on a good sale. Oh, they do. They, they really do. They, they get out there and they hustle, and, and everybody's always making remarks about the quality and how smooth it runs. Every, I mean, everybody always seems to leave happy. They have fun out there. Well, it's. The main thing they got, yeah. they got the cooking going on. They got the horses going on. Got a little bit of everything. So you going to the banquet, or are you just going to wish them farewell? I don't know just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, You'll figure know. it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm going to the trainers meeting there. Well, I, I talked. To, I talked to James Wilson. He said, I said, you going? To, he said, I ain't got no choice. I already bought the tickets. He said they done got me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, but I want to wish everybody good luck at the banquet. Uh, good luck at Horse of the Year. Uh, don't let anything I said discourage you. No. <laughs> I'm just, I am anxious to see who is Amateur of the Year, though. I cannot see it being anybody else than Sister Milligan. I can't. I really can't. That lady, if I swear, if she could sneak in a stick horse class, I believe she would. Oh, she liked the show. She loved them horses now. Well, she's always got that head like this and just smiling. Yeah. Have she you ever noticed it. that? Oh, yeah. She, 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 she just, likes it. She just enjoys She does that when she's warming up. Yeah. In in, in the morning on the track. She, she's the same way. She enjoyed them horses. That's the biggest thing. I mean, yeah. just every time I've been knowing her, she always had that same look and that same ride. I'm going to count up how many times she's shown. I'll, I'll have that next week because I'll go back and I will look and see exactly how many times she entered the ring this year. And one time, people, I don't know if anybody noticed it or not. But she came in on the am am. She showed the first way. Evidently, the guy didn't want to show the second way, so she got back on the horse, showed, showed the second, second way. way. Yep. That's when they pulled her in down there and said, "What's going on?" She said, "Am am." That's right. I'm an amateur both ways of the ring. ring. That's mm -hmm. all that matters. <laughs> That's the way you go, buddy. Yep. All right, well, Jerry, enjoyed this week. I, I want to really wish good. everybody good luck at the yes the banquet. Good luck, horse of the year. Uh, any questions, give me a call. Don't forget to send your video. Send your videos. We'd like to see it here and watch them and, and talk about them. All right. See everybody again next week. Yeah, have a good weekend. <laughs>